Methods of Purification of Organic Compounds Once an organic compound is extracted from a natural source or synthesized in the laboratory, it is essential to purify it. Various methods used for the purification of organic compounds are based on the nature of the compound and the impurity present in it. Sublimation some solid substances change from solid to vapor state without passing through liquid state on heating. The purification technique based on the above principle is known as sublimation and is used to separate sublimable compounds from non-sublimable impurities. Crystallization During crystallization at first, the impure compound is dissolved in a solvent in which it is sparingly soluble at room temperature but appreciably soluble at higher temperature. The solution is concentrated to get a nearly saturated solution. On cooling the solution pure compound crystallizes out and is removed by filtration. The filtrate mother liquor contains impurities and small quantity of the compound. Impurities which impart color to the solution are removed by absorbing over activated charcoal. Distillation This important method is used to separate 1. Volatile liquids from non-volatile impurities and 2. The liquids having sufficient difference in the boiling points. Liquids having different boiling points vaporize at different temperature. The vapors are cooled and the liquids are formed are collected separately. Example chloroform boiling point 334 Kelvin and aniline boiling point 457 Kelvin are easily separated by the technique of distillation. The liquid mixture is taken in a round bottom flask and heated carefully. On boiling, the vapors of lower boiling component are formed first. The vapors are condensed by using a condenser and the liquid is collected in a receiver. The vapors of higher boiling component form later and the liquid can be collected separately. Fractional distillation if the difference in boiling points of two liquids is not much, simple distillation cannot be used to separate them. Fractional distillation is used. In this technique, a fractionating column provides many surfaces for heat exchange between the ascending vapors and the descending condensed liquid. The fractionating column is fitted over the mouth of the round bottom flask. Vapors of a liquid mixture are passed through a fractionating column before condensation. The vapors thus become richer in low boiling component. The vapors of low boiling component ascend to the top of the column. On reaching the top, the vapors become pure in low boiling component and pass through the condenser and the pure liquid is collected in a receiver. After a series of successive distillations, the remaining liquid in the distillation flask gets enriched in high boiling component. Each successive condensation and vaporization unit in the fractionating column is called a theoretical plate. Application To separate different fractions of crude oil in petroleum industry. Fractionating columns are available in various sizes and designs Distillation under reduced pressure. This method is used to purify liquids having very high boiling points and those which decompose at or below their boiling points. Such liquids are made to boil at a temperature lower than their normal boiling points by reducing the pressure on the surface. A liquid boils at a temperature at which its 
vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure. The pressure is reduced with the help of a water pump or vacuum pump. Glycerol can be separated from spent lye in soap industry by using this technique. Steam distillation. This technique is applied to separate substances which are steam volatile and are invisible with water. Example, aniline is separated by this technique from aniline water mixture. In steam distillation, steam from a steam generator is passed through a heated flask containing the liquid to be distilled. The mixture of steam and the volatile organic compound is condensed and collected. The compound is later separated from water using a separating funnel. The liquid boils when the sum of vapor pressures due to the organic liquid P1 and that due to water P2 becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure P, that is P equals to P1 plus P2. Since P1 is lower than P, the organic liquid vaporizes at lower temperature than its boiling point. Differential Extraction When an organic compound is present in an aqueous medium, the organic solvent and the aqueous solution mixture is separated by shaking in a separatory funnel. Thus, they form two distinct layers. The organic solvent is later removed by distillation or by evaporation to get back the compound. Differential extraction is carried out in a separatory funnel. If the organic compound is less soluble in the organic solvent, a very large quantity of solvent would be required to extract even a very small quantity of the compound. The technique of continuous extraction is employed in such cases. In this technique, same solvent is repeatedly used for extraction of the compound.